closed kinetic chain upper extremity test, which you can see demonstrated in this video. So you've got someone in a full push-up position, you're timing the number of touches achieved one side to the other over a 15 second period, and you're averaging or taking the average of three trials. So when it comes to psychometric properties and performance tests or any tests, we look at a few key components. The first of those is um, the standard error of measurement and the minimal detectable change. So the standard error of measurement is essentially what general error can happen if I do the test and I do it again. And the minimal detectable change is how much change do we need to see for me to be sure that there's been a change in actual performance and not just measurement error. So for this test, it's the SEM is, is sort of just over two touches and the minimal detectable change is more than 6.4 touches. When it comes to concurrent validity, what we mean by that is how a new test compares against a validated test. And for this particular test, we've got moderate correlation to IKD assessment. And in terms of IKD assessment for the studies that looked at this test, all the measures were for internal and external rotation, and they were performed at 60 and 180 degrees a second in the 45 degree scaption position with the elbow bent to 90 degrees of flexion. It's a reliable test, and you've got options to normalise the score in relation to subject height and limb length as well.